Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got another rant, rant, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're gonna talk about how EA fucked this game. It's like there's so many stuff that, so much stuff that's going on with this fucking game. It's like, have you seen other people's videos? They can't even make a squad now. They can't open packs without it kicking you off the fucking game. Have you seen that? But they've also, now they've done a fucking update again. Another one, at like it was like they tweeted, oh, we're going to go down for maintenance between like 7 and 10 a.m. in freaking the morning, whatever shit. Uh, they're going to take away club names. It's like, how obvious do you want it to be that you want so much money? It's like, the fuck is wrong with you? It's like, now you can't, because it's going to make people, it's going to make it even harder for people to buy coins. Do you, like... When people were still, they because they did price ranges, coin sellers already found another way to sell their coins. Like, there was, you could get coins by player contracts, you can list up a player that's worth that much, or you get like profit or something. Or, now they're offering to give your details and they put the coins on there for you, or you can get them to make you a new account with a million coins on it. They've already done but done that, but now they're getting rid of club names, so it's impossible to find your player. But people can still find a way around that. As you look on the screen, I've got a storage here. Yes. But each player has their own individual stat. As you see, this this card has had three owners. Yeah? Three like you could see the games played, the goals scored, and like the yellow cards and assist and crap. They can still find your card by that, by those stats. So EA can't get around it unless they take away that on the player card. Um, so there's no way they can get, they can't get rid of coin sellers because can't you get the hint that no one wants to buy FIFA points because they're so fucking overpriced. As you see, one million coins is like a ten tenner. That gets you like two hundred packs. 12,000 FIFA points is 80 pounds. That gets you like 70 packs. Can't you get the hint? Why don't EA just sell coins? Even though that kind of defeat the idea of the game where you get coins, you play games to get coins. But I know you're gonna you're gonna be like, oh my god, you can't do that. But why don't they understand that? Why can't they have their own like website where they sell coins and they get still get money? But I don't fucking know. But that's that. That's that part. Um. So basically, there's been a thing where players have been extinct, where you couldn't buy a player. Like, no one could buy a player, no one could buy Ronaldo, no one could buy Pele, no one could buy Delph. You can still can't sell, you still can't sell or buy Delph because he goes to so fucking low. Like, 99 Ronaldo, now they've introduced fake players. EA are planting players on our transfer list. As you saw a couple days ago, there was like two pages of Pele's. Like, there's still like five, six Pele's. Like a second ago, there was four, but there's still five. There's six Pele's on the market. No one has that many. Like, what the fuck? Like, no one will have these. They've all got look. They've all got hundred cards and marksman cards. Five owners, seven owners. Like, they've got Pele's on the market for some reason. It's like because the players are going extinct. They want to fix that and put their own Pele's on the market. Same with Ronaldo. He has got like two pages of Ronaldo. Look, two pages of Ronaldo. This never used to exist a few days ago or a few weeks ago. Now they're adding them to resolve the problem. Delph, as you see here, he is still extinct. You still can't get him because he goes to so low. Because people will just buy him instantly. Roberto Carlos... This is another example of players where they've changed around the prices, the minimum prices on players. Like the minimum price was 1.5 and, and the maximum was like 3 million and people were having a rage because they bought him for like 9 million. Now he's going for like 5 million, 3 point something minimum and 5 million maximum or something. And then we got Welbeck who used to be extinct, now there's like loads of him on there. Um, and this is another thing that storage they've um, put down the price. They've changed it from like 16k down to 11k start price. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know what the fuck they are doing to this fucking game. As you see here, people are trying, they can't sell their players. No one can sell their players. So, so for example, there's a bail here. They put a, t a plus 10 attribute card on there, an artist attribute, and 99 contracts. This is what I had to do to sell my legend and my bail. My legend and my bail, I sold them at their lowest possible price, put a top 10 attribute card, I put a hunter card on them, put them 99 contracts. They still wouldn't sell. I, I had to list them like five times for them to sell. Um, at the lowest price, the bail's at the lowest price, 600 by now, 601 buy now thousand and start price six hundred thousand it's 17 minutes left and no one's even bidded them or bought him it's like do they not understand i had a fabric i still can't sell him for like oh so his price has gone down now the fuck because i couldn't sell him for like five thousand coins so now like they've actually understood like they're trying to make the game better but they're kind of making it worse so I suggest why didn't they start doing this at FIFA 16? Why do you have to do it in the middle of FIFA 15 when a uh, team of the season is going to come out in a minute? In a minute? In a couple months. And now they're just going to ruin the game for everyone because no one afford no one can get coins. Then no one will be able to open packs. And they'll force everyone to buy FIFA points and they can't afford that. It's like there was 100k packed on the other day. There will be a little kid who's just got their pocket money. 15 quid. That'll be 15 quid for 2,000. I'll show you that. FIFA points. It is for 2,000 FIFA points. 15.99 for 2,000. That's how much a 100k pack is. So you could see how bad 100k packs are. I saw how bad mine was. A little kid would get his pocket money, buy FIFA points to open that pack, and they would get like a closer. They would get closer in that pack. And they'll be like, what the fuck, yeah, you just screwed me over. Like, they don't understand this either. Why don't they increase the pack luck or something? I think it has, I think they've done a bit something about that because I've seen other people um, on YouTube, they've got better packs than normal. Um, but that's what they need to do. They Unless they do that, they can lower the, lower the price of the FIFA points or increase the pack luck. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much all that's been happening, I'm pretty sure. Um, they'll, they will definitely find a way of selling coins still. Um, there's always going to be a way. But yeah, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this rant. Um, and you guys understand what I'm on about. Because it is a fucking nightmare. This game is literally raping everyone. Everyone's reverting to like Pez or whatever fucking game they're playing like FIFA 14 now because you can't play this game anymore it like gives you AIDS or something so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next video peace guys